Hello to this screencast where we are going to learn how to develop a microservice with Wildfly Swarm and Forge and test it with Orkillion. So the first thing that we need to do is start uh, Forge. It's, uh, well, in this case I'm using the latest one which is 3.4.0 and then um, create um, uh, a new uh, Wildfly Swarm project. And to create a Wildfly, Wildfly Swarm project, the first thing that we need to do is uh, install the Wildfly Swarm add-on. To do it, we just called add-on, and it's install from, notice that I can use the tab to complete the command, from git, minus minus um, URL, and then here I paste the URL of the repository of the Wildfly Swarm add-on, which in this case is uh, github.com slash forge slash Wildfly Swarm add-on. And yeah, now just, just cloning the repo and installing everything. It takes a, a, a bit of time, but yeah, it's pretty fast anyway. Okay, now we have the Wildfly Swarm installed. And let's um, create a new project, which is it's going to be our, our microservice. Uh, it's project new, it's the common, and then we are going to set the top level package, which is rg.superbeast. We also can uh, set the name of the project, which is a mandatory field, it's going to call foo. And finally, we need to set that the type of the project is a Wildfly Swarm project. We do this, it's okay. And finally, what we need to do is add a fragment to the Wildfly Swarm. A fragment is just a piece of, uh, of uh, a future that we want to use in our microservice. In this case, we're going to install the microprofile or Java E microprofile. So to do that, we do a Wildfly Swarm at fraction. And the fraction, you can do minus minus fractions, and then with tab, you see all the fractions. For example, if you want to use camel and CDI, you will choose camel CDI, and then Wildfly Swarm will come with these dependencies. In this case, as we, we, we said, we're going to use microprofile. And then the microprofile um, fraction is installed. Then, just to see what we have done, I mean, at the end, this is a, a typical Maven uh, project, and we can go to source, main, Java, org, superbees, and if rest, this is something that has been automatically created by the add-on to, you know, to have you as a reference. And then if you go here and we do an LS, you can see that there is a, a, um, a class called hello world endpoint that has one method that's called to get and returns a response. So now we have our business code, which is that hello world endpoint. So the next thing that we want to do is just uh, create a test for this. And we're going to use a, a new feature in Wildfly add-on, which is Wildfly Swarm new test. And then we need to set uh, the target project where this, um, this um, Test is going to be uh, um, created. In this case, RG Super B is exactly the same. We're going to give a name. Hello world endpoint test. We're going to set it as client. You're going to see that this means that um, this means that um, that that our test is not going to be deployed on the on the application server but it's going to be executed as a black box testing. And finally, the archive type, it's, um, it's a war, right? Because uh, Wildfly Swarm in the add-on by default creates a war file. After that, we're going to add a new dependency, which is um, uh, rest assured, which is going to help us to test 
the REST endpoint. REST, REST Assure is a test framework that helps you to write um, tests for REST endpoint. We're going to put the 3.0.1 and in, in the scope test. And then if, if we do catpom.xml, you can see here that the rest assure has been added. And that's all. Then we can go to the IDE. We're going to import a new project, which is in, um, in Alex Sandbox Foo. This is the project that we've created. It's a Maven project. And then here you can see that this is our endpoint that has been created automatically, which basically it's a simple REST endpoint which returns hello uh, from Wildfire Swarm. I'm going to copy this. And then also we've created this uh, test, which by default uses the full deployment, which means that all our, all our application is going to be deployed automatically. We, we don't need to uh, uh, do any uh, stream wrap um, archive like it happens with Herculean and yeah, and the type that we choose which is war. This URL is the URL where our microservice is deployed. And then here we can do something like uh, request spec builder. This is from um, this is a class from IO uh, from uh, Rest Assure, which allows us to create the, the request specification for all our um, requests. New request specification builder, and then we said that we want that the base URI is a URL dot URI. Okay, so basically here we're saying that for all the requests that we do, we want to use this uh, URL as a base URL, and then we can start using uh, rest assured dot uh, given. I'm going to put this as a static import, and say given this request spec builder. When I do get on hello, remember that hello is um, this uh, endpoint. Then, after that, body core matchers that is this thing. So basically what it's saying, um, here we put that, this one. Okay, now what we're saying is that um, with this test is like, okay, just do up a package of our application, do all the magic that Wildflow Swarm does behind the curtain, behind the scene, then just run, this microservice and then execute this method, which basically is going to take the URL where the service is deployed. We're going to go to the hello and we're going to share that it returns hello from Wildfly Swarm. So let's do a run. Now it's, you know, creating everything. It's Now it's, it's creating all the bundle and, st and starting the server and everything. Now the service is up and running. Now it runs the, the, um, the test itself and notice that it's green because it has returned this. And that's all. Notice that with a few commands using Forge, we've been able to um, create and test a microservice. Thank you very much.